And good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 47th Annual Minster Memorial Invitational Track Meet. Hello, and I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Josiah Stober and our entire WSN crew. And we've got a star-studded field today. And Josiah, beginning this week, I looked at all the rain and the forecast, and I didn't know what we were going to get. But what a what a beautiful morning we have for a great, great track invitational. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a little still chilly there here in the morning <laughs> we'll about 10 a.m. We'll uh, for this meet. But as you said, sun's out. Uh, looking at the weather this past week, you know, it was rain, rain, and some more rain. So uh, I'm sure these athletes are excited to get out and uh, get outside a little bit and show off what they can do. Absolutely. And we're going to start this morning with the girls' 4 by 800 meter relay. Josiah, let's take a look at the teams here for today's Minster Invitational. Yeah, as we the team, a 16 team field here, uh, starting with Bradford's here, uh, Canterbury. Canterbury, Indiana. So we do two teams. The state line. Yeah, two yeah, teams absolutely. Uh, from Indiana have come in this year. Uh, Covington, Crestview, Fort Loramie, Houston, Lehman Catholic, Marion Local, Minster, New Bremen, Rushi, South Adams, our second team from Indiana, Spencerville, St. Henry, Versailles, and West Liberty, Salem. So a great, great field as we are started here for the girls' 4 by 800 meter relays. So first track meet of the year, Josiah. Uh, Little little cold here today, but nonetheless, it's great to be outside. You know, we've been doing football and basketball all season long, so it's great to be outside amongst a lot of friends. Yeah, excited for this track meet. And like you said, really the first one uh, for our brag broadcasting here. Uh, so as you said, excited to see some of these athletes. You know, as you said, really a star-studded field here. Some really good track programs come to this Minster invite every single year. So really excited to watch them out. Yeah, just say you and I have both been doing track for a lot of years. And what's, uh, what's some of the things we need to look for early in the season? Obviously the cold weather, and we don't want to see athletes getting injured. We don't, we're not – look, <laughs> you and I both know we're not going to see stellar times because of the weather. Uh, but what are we looking for today? No, and I think, uh, and you know, track builds up for the end of the year. You know, sure. that's what you're Absolutely. trying to do. You know, you're not a great point. necessarily trying to just get the best times here at the beginning of the year. You're just really trying to get your athletes in shape. As you said, this spring's really been rainy, so we don't know how much time they've been able to get out and really condition their athletes. But now's a great opportunity. Like I said, it's a little bit cold, but one of our athletes, you know, to, to stay healthy but again, an opportunity to compete at a high level. Yeah, and great facilities here at Minster High School. And we were told as we came in today that they're going to redo this entire complex. Yeah, which, you know, it's all really, it's really all right. a nice <laughs> complex to begin with. But, you know, we were told earlier, you know, tearing out the, all the stands yeah. here, you know, building a brand new box that's going to be about six feet deeper, you know, got kind of that college feel with the windows going to be slanted a little bit. So the important thing for us, they told us it's going to be heated and air conditioned. Heated and air conditioned. So <laughs> as broadcasters, we're not sitting outside in the cold. Well, look, we, we get treated great every time we come down here and, and nothing's changed and now it's going to be a whole lot better. So that's great. So we are just getting started here in the girls four by 800 meter relay. Fort Loramie, Minster, West Liberty, Versailles, Covington, St. Henry, New Bremen, South Adams, Marion Local, Fort Wayne, Spencerville, and Rushi are your competing teams here. So kind of bunched up here in the beginning, and we'll see this stretch out a little bit, Josiah, as the laps count down. Yeah, it looks like we're about at our first handoff here in this 4x8, and it looks like, I believe, is that New Bremen? I believe it is New Bremen in the lead. And, folks, when we uh, when we say it's some, a lot of times we're guesstimating because of our vantage point of where we are. So we uh, will try to get you the best description of the teams who are in the lead or who are contending here. So, boy, just a beautiful sun-splashed morning here and a uh, nice crowd on hand, as always, here at Minster. Yeah, and as we see fans starting to come from the field events, started a little bit earlier as they usually do. So fans are starting to fill in, especially towards that finish line. Let's uh, let's give them a rundown of the events that we will be broadcasting here this afternoon, Josiah. Yeah, as we're in our 4x8 uh, meter relay race, as it's currently going on right now. Uh, we'll also be doing the 100 and the 110 hurdles. 100-meter dash, which is one of my favorites oh, uh, to watch the speed. <laughs> you know that's my favorite. That's why you said that. <laughs> uh, the 4 by 2 100-meter relay, um, the 1-mile, the 1,600-meter run, the 4 by one uh, which is another one of my favorites. Absolutely. Love to see uh, these athletes run and, you know, just to see where they're at in their progression, handoffs, starts, you know, all those things are so important. Uh, the 400-meter dash, 300-meter hurdles, uh, the 800-meter run, uh, the 200-meter dash, the 3,200-meter run, and then also at the end, the 4x4, which everyone loves to get out and cheer for their team. 
Absolutely. Top seed team coming into this girls 4 by 8 team of Fort Loramie. 10.05 time, so a nice time already, and we are at the 4.04 mark here in the 4 by 800 Yeah, speaking of the uh, the relays, uh, we, we talk about the relays a lot. This is a great time of the year to work on those handoffs, we, and we say that it's not always the fastest team around the track. It's the team that gets the baton around the track fast enough. Yeah, and it's so important, you know, coaches are working weekly on that yes. handoff because it is. It's so important, you know, you get a, a just one bad handoff throughout the race can really hurt your team. So, you know, these, these coaches are preparing them early. You know, we're still early in this season, but it should be uh, – you know, exciting to see where everybody's progressed so far. And if you want to talk about rich cross-country and track tradition, it doesn't get any better than Minster High School. Uh, when you look at their girls' program, maybe, maybe the best in the state of Ohio in, cr in, in girls' cross-country and track. Yeah, historically, you know, just some of those amazing runners they've had here in the past. And, you know, even when I was in high school, this was yes. the, the standard um, oh, at Minster. And, you know, we see that year after year they're putting together, especially these, you know, the four by eight teams, you know, that are just so good. Yeah. And, and I've coached track for a lot of years, as have you. And, boy, if you got invited to the Minster Invitational, that, that meant a lot for your program because they were looking at you as, as a very competitive team. And, and, again, we've got a great competitive field here today. Well, and I like that they pull teams, you know, not just from Ohio, too, oh, but pull some, you know, from Fort Wayne, you know, some of these bigger areas pulling these schools in, you know, just to compete against the best. And that's what Minster's done historically for years. Yeah, we look out here at the stands getting really packed here this afternoon on a beautiful day. And everybody's got their sweatshirts and their jackets on. We'll see if those get peeled off here a little bit later. We're expecting about a high of 61 today. Uh, hopefully we can get up. Maybe the wind will calm down a little bit and it won't be so chilly. But uh, a lot of activities in the state of Ohio today. The spring game down in Columbus is a big event today. The Minster Invitational track meets everywhere. Finally getting some nice weather without the rain. Well, we know, you know, if we're doing that in, in the category, you know, Minster Invitational first, then the Ohio State spring game, and then so. <laughs> That's right. We, we get it. We get it. We get it. <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. Our broadcast today is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Lee's Famous Recipe, our title sponsor for today's Minster Invitational Track and Field Meet. So we are at the 638 mark here. Uh, girls looking really good out there on the track for a first event of the season, or first big event of the season. I'm sure a lot of these teams have had dual meets, uh, so I'm sure the kids are excited about getting out here in the sunshine today. And uh, field events going on right now. We've got the girls' long jump, the boys' long jump, the girls' shot put and boys' shot put, boys' and girls' discus, boys' and girls' high jump, boys' pole vault, and girls' pole vault. And uh, as soon as we get some of those results, we will try to get those to you. Uh, we uh, eagerly await. We've talked to the good folks here at Minster, and we've told them to – get us uh, as many results and here comes Minster <laughs> you just pointed that out Minster looking great here as they give the baton at the 719 mark and they look really strong as they lead this field in the girls four by 800 meter relay yeah it looks like Fort Lormie there is right behind them as you said coming with the best seed time so far this year so it looks like they'll probably be battling it out here and as we got another handoff in third place is at the 740 mark I wonder if it helps these kids when they get that handoff and they run that first corner and they can see that golden arches and McDonald's over there in the <laughs> corner. That'd make me run a little faster. <laughs> I know uh, Jacob, he's excited about the McDonald's across the field there. He's, uh, he's got his eyes on that one. <laughs> and Danny Holbert, Josiah Stover from Minster High School, the 47th annual Minster Invitational Track and Field Event, a standard every year in the great state of Ohio. And we have a huge crowd on tap today on a sun splash morning. And you see Minster's last runner there, and she looks really strong as she gets her first lap in as she goes into that second lap. And we see the lead there, a good 15 seconds ahead of Fort Lormie there at the moment, rounding the second turn here. 
And it's so important, Josiah, this time of year to uh, – we used to talk when we coached our kids a lot about staying warm, staying loose, getting your body uh, – loose thank you uh getting loose and and avoiding those injuries look track and field injuries a lot of them to your legs can take a long time to heal calves uh you know muscle injuries that just you know linger and linger yeah, all season and long quads and all goodness, those are so yeah. important and you know and i i think it's so important as a coach and you know this as we as we taught them you know is that that stretching at the beginning may be the most important oh, thing absolutely. you do absolutely um you know for the entire meet and you know, hopefully you're you're instructing them consistently. It's like every single time we go out there, you need to take the time. But then also when you're done with these races, many of these athletes are in multiple races. Is you got to get warm yeah. afterwards. You don't want to get tight. So as we see here, it looks like Minster will be finishing up with a time around 9:42 on the A great time for this time of year, which is about the, almost 30 seconds <laughs> off of what the seed time. So we don't know. Some of these coaches just give. Well, it's, it's early in the year. They're times, estimating yep. absolutely, and that you know, ten oh five is not uh, you know not that far off when you're when you're you know trying to estimate what your girls are going to run in a big yep. meet like this. So Minster does win the girls four by eight hundred meter relay. Uh, sup I'm not surprised at all about that. Those girls <laughs> have a fantastic team, and they do a fantastic job. Yeah, we see Fort Lormie there with a nine fifty five. I believe. Is that West, West Liberty, Liberty Salem West come Liberty in? comes in third, followed by, looks like, for sales maybe, and Covington. So top five round out, the girls' 4 by 800 meter relay. We're back here for the boys' 4 by 800 meter relay. And, Jacob, let's take a look at the teams represented for the boys' 4 by 800 meter relay. Yeah, it's the 12 teams participating. We look at Minster comes in with the top seed time, uh, then followed by West Liberty. Uh, New Bremen, Rushi, and Versailles, uh, South Adams, Marion Local, Covington, Fort Laramie, Spenceville, St. Henry, and Fort Wayne will also be participating. Uh, you look at that, the first two teams, Jacob, and Minster and West Liberty. You know, I've watched these two schools run over the years at the state meet and, and, and a lot of other invitationals. Kind of a nice little rivalry. They're just two really good track and field schools. Yeah, absolutely. You know, not, like I said, not a rivalry in their conference, but teams no, no, that, not at that all. face yeah. off with each other, especially as they travel all the way down to state yeah. and to Columbus, you know. And it's the same thing on the the, the women's side yes, too. Is yeah. we start seeing those Minster West, West Liberty Salem teams competing against each other, and there has become this competition. Is you know how many athletes can we get to state, and how many can can finish in the top? Yeah, and we take a look at that eight twenty six uh, seed time there for uh, Minster, uh, a really good time this time of year. But you're right. We we've seen West Liberty and Minster battle out a lot. West Liberty not a not a Lima Land team per se, but we do get a lot of coverage on them because of the invitationals and in the, in the meets that we see them at. Yeah, we often see them, you know, come up north here yes. a lot to to these these track meets. So, you know, we see, like you said, coming to this invitational, especially at the beginning of the year, we see some of the top teams in the state come here, you know, and compete because they know one they're going to see them again. It's great you know, competition, and, and yeah. And kind of see where they're at. You know, in their progression. So, you know, as you said, it's really good to see this. You know, the Minster West Liberty Salem. You know, because we see some a lot of these MAC rivals. We know they're sure. all good. You know, throughout the year. But seeing these other teams, we see down in Columbus and Spencerville. Surprisingly, at the early lead here, uh, out in front, the Bearcats uh, come in with the tenth best seed, and they're out in the lead. So a nice job there by the Spencerville Bearcats. Yeah, and Spencerville starting off strong. You know, one of their really strong distance runners. Uh, with Carson Van Gorder out early and really setting the pace for this 4x8. Really a good good lap time for the first 400. So we'll see if they can keep that pace up here. Absolutely. And, and Josiah, I love to see these coaches who will – uh, move kids around early in the season, find out what they can do, especially in a big meet like this. And they're not concerned. Look, everybody wants to win. We all want to win. But you understand the big picture. You said it best earlier. We're all gunning for the end of the track season. And I know that's hard for a lot of people to understand because they, they're so competitive and they want to win. But it is. You're, you're absolutely right. It is a chance to get kids out here, compete in front of a lot of people, and see what they can do for your squad. Yeah, you know, and you know, you track, you coach yeah. track for a long time. You know, at this time, especially early in the year, you just want to see what they do, what they can put out, you know, what yes. numbers they're doing. Yeah. You know, in the next track, my next track meet might be completely different where you're lining them up. Maybe that person you're like, oh, I need him as my anchor, you know, was in the yes. second leg that yeah. time. So, you know, 
this time of the year, it's just you want to face good competition to see what production the players are able to and do. Inevitably, it seems like as a track coach, you always find that one diamond that you really didn't know how they would do until the lights shine, and then they come out here and do a great job. You put them with a 4x8 team or a 4x1 team, and they shine, and, and you know you see a lot of growth in those kids. And what, look, that's what it is. It's PR every meet. You want to see a kid PR every meet. Well, and ultimately, you hope you have a deep roster to where you got six, yes. six yeah. guys that can run the 800, so every day in practice, they're challenging each other. They're putting pushing each other, you can move some bodies around. You know, if there's a, you hate to see an injury, you know, you can fill in somebody else. Yeah. So you're, you're always looking as a coach, especially early in the year, is where can I move players around? Where can I adjust them to where, like you said, at the end, when it's the most important, Who's our best squad? Just say you coached a lot of track. In my case, uh, I made it a point for our relay teams. We were going to work on handoffs some segment of every day. I felt like it was the most important thing for that relay team. And whether it was 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I wanted to make sure that those kids were working on handoffs every day. And it is. And, and you know, if you're not someone who's been around track and field very much, you just think, well, all they do is hand it off. <laughs> <laughs> all you got to do is give yeah. it to the next person. No, and, no, no, and, no, no. And it's not. It's, it's really a skill. Sure. You know, and, and those tenths of a second are so important in a track meet, especially as you progress in the tournament time down to state. You know, the teams that win have put in all that time yeah. to practice that. And, and I've had teams that were really fast that, that that really had a lot of trouble with handoffs, and those are the teams that you, you get excited about and you know that technique so much matters. And people all the time say, well, how do you know where to put a kid in one, two, three, or four? And look, the lane assignments are key. Some kids are going to run a little farther. You know the kids that are stronger, things like that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, four by eight is a little bit different. Yes, <laughs> you yeah, know, it it's is, not right. a not a not, one, the technique's not as yeah. important. Yeah, I get it. But, yeah. uh, you know, as you get on, as you, you know, four by one, four by two, those races that are so important, those handoffs, like you said, is, you know, and, and there's a whole part of the track and field with strategy, like you said, is do you want your athlete to run longer because they're faster and stronger? Do you want them to, to you know, be the one to hand off early in the zone, late? You know, all those things come into play that if you're not around track and field, you may not understand. And a lot of meets early in the season, we'll, we'll see these these schools get spread out as far as times. If you, if you have a team come in at 10.05, maybe the second place team comes in at 10.12, at and there's a big gap there between. You get to the regional and state meets, it's boom, 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 it's, boom, boom. It, you better have your technique down yeah those, like i said those tenths of a second are so you know tenths hundreds of a second are so important and that can and a race can be won in, yeah, that, in that handoff time zone so um you know look here is minster out early about 508 here Really a nice time, yeah. Minster looks like Minster for sales. West Liberty Salem are your one. New Bremen, Minster for sales. West Liberty Salem and New Bremen, one, two, three, and four, right now. Today's title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. So a strong, strong showing here by the Minster Wildcats as they have a nice lead, Josiah. And it's always good as a coach to see your kids get out to a strong start. Now you want to see them finish strong, but boy, that cushion they've built right now is really, really impressive. Yeah, we have almost, almost, you know, two-turn lead here yeah. by Minster. Like you said, not, you know, still have your anchor runner coming up here shortly, but. Minster doing a great job and like you said kind of standard on the, the boys and the girls side of these longer distance you know sprint relay teams and here before the handoff gets the handoff right about 615 well you know you know Josiah we, we talked earlier in the broadcast about Minster's uh, facilities they're making huge changes down here it's not only that when you come down to Minster or to Marion local St. Henry the schools down in this part of the country it's the commitment they have to their programs and, and you you, you want to know why they're successful you want to know why they win it's because they've committed themselves to making sure that their kids get the best facilities that their kids get the the best opportunities and uh, you know maybe someone may have a little bit of Mac fatigue because we do talk about them but that's because they are winning all the time and they do things the right way yeah, we see some of the, the best facilities in the area, and it's this area. Absolutely, you know, uh, yeah. In the, in the Mac country, and 
like you said, they, they invest, the community buys in Absolutely. to not only the you know academics, which is I was just going to say thing. it's not only athletics, it's yeah, academics it's too. It's academics also, yeah. but you know these these athletic facilities. And it's the reason they can host these really awesome events. Yeah. You know because they, they have great facilities and they have the community there supporting them and working these events, and they do a really good job. Absolutely. At, the w at WSN, we are pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. So just about finished here in the boys' 4 by 800 meter run. The Minster Wildcats way out in front. <laughs> Josiah just pointed across the track, and there's a big divide between first and second. As uh, Jacob's getting a good shot of those runners out there as we're finishing up the boys' four by 800 meter relay. Big, big meet on tap today as we've got plenty of events to look forward to. Going to get into some sprints here soon. Josiah and I's favorite race, the 100 meter dash, coming up here after we get to watch some hurdles, which uh, we always enjoy. And here comes Minster. And they are going to cross the line. Their seed time was 8.26, and they are going to cross that line at 8.19. An impressive run for the Minster Wildcats, Josiah, coming in with an 8.19. Yeah, as we see, it looks like New Bremen is going to come in second here. Look like they'll finish about 8.31, followed by, I believe, West Liberty Salem. Yeah, they got him. They had to switch him on the board because the New Bremen runner went around the West Liberty. So New Bremen comes in at 2. West Liberty comes in at three and a battle for fourth and fifth here as they cross the line. And it looks like it is in fourth place as we get the board to update here. It'll be Fort Wayne comes in at fourth. Uh, and West Liberty, I believe. Versailles got, okay, Versailles got third, okay. Yep, LaRouche uh, in fifth, and then Marion Local coming in sixth. All right, that'll wrap it up for the boys' four by 800 meter relay. When we come back, we're going to get into some hurdles, boys and girls action. We're back here for the girls' 100-meter hurdles. Josiah, let's take a look at the field for today's 100 and 10, excuse me, 100-meter hurdles. Yeah, as we start with the, the best seed time coming in, and that's Grace Moeller from Marion Local with just 15 seconds. So imagine that's just the coach putting in probably a time. <laughs> but, um, but then we look through the rest of the field. We have Sophia Whirling from Minster in lane one, Molly Brame in lane two from Minster, Capri Bixler from South Adams is in lane three, Grace Muller is in that lane four for Marion Local. Two runners from Fort Laramie in lanes five and six, Ariel Heatcamp and Audrey Rossman. In lane seven from Versailles, Josephine Pottist. And in lane eight, Morgan Balmer from St. Henry. So a really nice field as we get started here for the girls' 100-meter hurdles as the official has called the girls to the block. So now we talked a lot last segment, Josiah, about technique for handoffs. Boy, this this is the ultimate technique race. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, it all starts with how they get out of the blocks. Sure. You know, yep. you got to get out quick, you know, get that momentum going forward, and then you got to attack, especially that first hurdle. You have to hit it. you got to attack it, and it really sets the, the tone for the rest of the race. So we will be watching uh, intently on the number four spot, Grace Moeller from Marion Local. She comes in with a blazing seed time of 15 seconds, and I say blazing for this time of year, which is a really good time. So she's in the fast lane. So we'll see what happens here as the girls have been called to the blocks, and we are just about set for the girls' 100-meter hurdles. They have been set, and we are underway. So a fast start here, and it is Grace Moeller from Marion Local as she gets a nice start, and she picks up a lead here in the girls' 100-meter hurdles, and she is going to win that race convincingly, and it looks like Ariel Heitkamp from Fort Lormy comes in with a second place showing in the girls' 100-meter hurdles. And it was. It was Moeller, Wirtling, and Brame from Minster. So Minster takes one and three. So big points there for the Wildcats. Yeah, good race there by Grace Moeller. And got out really quick, tacked that uh, first hurdle, and you know just had some really good form over those hurdles. So great race by her. 
When we come back, we'll have the boys 100 meter hurdles right here on WOSN. And we are ready for the boys 110 meter hurdles. So, Josiah, let's take a look at this field of runners. Yeah, as we look at the best seed time from Bradford, Owen Beechler. Uh, as we look at our lane assignments, Landon Arling from Marion Local, Bo Dwanger from Minster in lane two, Jackson Steider from West Liberty, Owen Beechler is in lane four, Daylin Garrett from Covington is lane five, from Fort Laramie, Isaac Halthouse from in lane seven, Minster from Minster is Max Knacky, and in lane eight from Layman Catholic, Donovan O'Leary. So Owen Beechler comes in with a 15.3, the best seed time here, as Josiah mentioned, and Officials having a little trouble with the starter pistol down there, it looks like. He called him up and uh, brought him back up. So, uh, always nerve-wracking when you get down there in the yeah. set position. <laughs> the official calls you back up, so the officials are discussing right now. The WSN Score app is new and improved. Download the brand-new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. I'm telling you, Josiah, I'm on the WSN app every day. <laughs> They do a great job over at WSN with those uh, those apps and scores, and I never miss my teams or uh, scores that I'm trying to find. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the first things I do in the morning <laughs> when I wake up is check some of the scores from the previous night. So they have called them back to the blocks, and the officials getting ready here. The boys, 110-meter hurdles. We want to watch that start. We want to watch that technique as they get that trail leg across that hurdle as they move down the track. Winds blowing. Looks like the wind's blowing behind their backs, so uh, maybe push them down the track a little bit. Wind aid, maybe? Is that what they say? <laughs> <laughs> well, no wind compared to like it was last night. Oh, when, my goodness. 40-mile-per-hour uh, <laughs> wind, so. Yes, it was. So here we go. They are in the set position, and we are underway in the boys' 110-meter hurdles. And it is Beechler out quick, and he is running really well to start this race. Oh, and Beechler in the fourth position. He is going to win the boys' four, on 10 hurdles with a nice time. Let's get the time here. And as soon as they put it on the board, Beechler from Bradford, 15.4. So a nice run for that young man to start the season. Yeah, and as we said just earlier, it's it's all about the start, and you saw him get to that first hurdle first and just continued great form, bringing that drag leg over the top, you know, pushing off, and just had a great race. And they'll clear the track, and we'll be back for the boys and girls 100-meter dash. And we're back here at the Minster Invitational for the girls 100-meter dash. Josiah, let's take a look at the field in the girls 100 meter dash. Yeah, coming in with the best seed time is Audra McMichael from Spenceville coming in with a 12.17. It's really coming impressive for this time of year. This early in My the year. Goodness. Looking at the rest of the field in lane 1 from Houston, Autumn Ritter, in lane 2, Sam Lauber from St. Henry, in lane 3, Katie McFarland from Layman Catholic. Uh, Audra McMichael is in lane 4. In lane 5 is Delaney Jones from West Liberty. In lane six is Anna Larger from Minster. In lane seven from Bradford, Avery Hellman. In lane eight is Izzy Meyer from Fort Laramie. So an impressive time for the young lady from Spencerville, Audra Michael, 12.1. And a really nice start here for yeah, it looked all like the West runners. Liberty. Delaney Jones got Delaney out really Jones well. Delaney Jones with an impressive run here early in the season. My goodness. Delaney Jones came in with a seed time of 12-3, and it looks like she's going to run exactly that, a 12-3, a very nice run uh, for Delaney Jones from West Liberty as she blows the field away. Impressive start. Well, it's so important. She got out fast. <laughs> yes, she um, did. And that was the difference there in that race. She had a good you know, one to two step lead there about 20 meters in, so just a really good start for her and a great finish to start this beginning of this year. And you, look, uh, we don't typically see runs like that early in the year. Did you see her technique? Very impressive. High and tight arms, nice strides. She's got a future, <laughs> I'm telling yeah, you. Absolutely. You know, just that burst out of the blocks there. You know, that was the difference of the race there was that, that first 10 meters. And like you said, just great form getting out of that block and, you know, just finishing strong. So an impressive run by the young lady from West Liberty Salem. 
We're back here for the Boys 100 Meter Dash. Today's title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. Josiah, let's take a look at the field for the Boys 100 Meter Dash. Yeah, coming in in lane four with the best seed time is Jake Behan from West Liberty with 11-2. And the rest of the field in lane one is Braxton McMichael from Spencerville. In lane two, Zage Harleman from Bradford. Ryan Worley from St. Henry is in lane three. Jack Bahan is in lane four. From Marion Local in lane five, Justin Knopf. In lane six from Covington is Philip McMakin. From Crestview, Liam Putnam is in lane seven. And from Marion Local, Ben Ranley is in lane eight. We saw Delaney Jones from West Liberty win the girls' 100-meter dash. Can the Tigers from West Liberty sweep the boys' and girls' 100-meter dash as Jack Behan from West Liberty comes with 11 two times? So we eagerly await that. So this is my favorite event of the track and field meet, Josiah, the 100-meter dash. It's just great starts and maintain and pure athleticism getting out of the blocks and moving down the track. Well, and this is where you see a lot of speed, mm -hmm, especially at an event here at Minster Memorial High School Invitational. You know, there's some really <laughs> good athletes. Say, got a lot of good athletes out here for this one. So they are just about ready to start the boys' 100-meter dash as they have been called to the blocks. They are called to the set position. And we are underway in the boys' 100-meter dash. And it looks a great start from the young man from Marion Local in the fifth position. And he's going to win the race. What a run there by Justin Knopf from Marion Local, Josiah, as he got a great start. And he wins the boys' 100-meter dash. Yeah, really strong run there by Knopf there. Got out quick. You know, just really strong. You tell he's running. Um, down that 100-meter um, dash there, just really strong. You know, really wasn't laboring at all. Did a really good job of exploding and finishing strong, and a great win for him. Yeah, and a great time this early in the season, 11-1. We'll see that time go down as it's really chilly today, but uh, an impressive time for April 13th. I believe today's the date. Yeah, you know, yeah. And as you said, two-tenths better than what his seed time was, so – you know, as you said, as it gets warmer and nicer, these, these times are going to go down, but a great run early for him. So Justin Knopf from Marion Local wins the boys' 100-meter dash. Welcome back to the 47th Annual Minster Track and Field event. Up next on the docket, the girls' 4-by-200-meter relay. Each girl will run a 200 meters and then hand the baton off. Four girls per team. Josiah, let's take a look at the field. Yeah, coming in with the best seed time is in lane four, Fort Laramie. Uh, with a one minute 49 second time. As we look at the lane assignments for the rest of the field, in lane one is Layman Catholic. In lane two is Spencerville. In lane three is Versailles. Fort Laramie is in lane four. In lane five is Minster. Lane six is West Liberty. Lane seven is St. Henry. And in lane eight is New Bremen. A lot of times in this race, Josiah, you'll see really good quarter milers, and I mean 400-meter runners who will run this because they are very strong, and that 200 meters seems like just a blip on the radar compared to what they're normally running. Yeah, and, you know, like we talked about earlier, you know, just an opportunity, too, here to get, you know, a lot of a lot of runners in this race. Like you said, you might see some yes. 400. You might see some 100-meter, you know, dash runners. You're a little bit of collection of everybody here in this um, race, but... Um, you know, especially this should be, you know, a fast race, you know, for these girls. And you know, even though it's a little bit colder, we should see some good times. A lot, a lot of times I used to li I like to position my really, really fast runners on that second position to run the back stretch. I love watching those kids run that back stretch. And from our vantage points, you can always see the separation there between the really good runners and the, you know, average runners as, as, as they get going down the back stretch. You know, and this is – there is a little bit of strategy, especially in these, sure. you know, 4 by 2 4 by one um, you know, meter relay races. You know, obviously your anchor is going to have quite sure. a bit of speed, and, you know, you want your, your fast runner to finish it off. But like you said, there's some – you know, you can place – um, runners in different spots um, it, yeah. in this relay to, to really give yourself an advantage. Like you said, having that strong runner in that second leg, you know, could really 
you know, set the tone for the, the finish at the end. And you know as well as I do that there's a technique to running curves. As there, are, as there is a technique mm. to starting. So everybody has their strength and their specialty. And, and that's why this is a great time of the year to, to kind of experiment with your runners and find out who can do what. So. Yeah, it's so true. I you know, had some runners in the past that were terrible you know, sure. on those turns. But you put them you know, on in that the straight straightaway, <laughs> they just they're just <laughs> moving. So like you said, there is some of that, that time where you got to see which, you know, which leg is the best for your athletes and you know coaches are, are really watching and deciding that early on and the good programs by the end of the year they always find out where their anchor strength is and who's going to take that baton you do want the fastest mm -hmm. runner at the end and uh, uh, a lot of times it just depends on what you have and you're right depth is huge if you've got five or six kids that can run really well this is a great event for those so we are just about started here in the girls' 4 by 200 meter relay. Check out our website, WSN.TV, for scores, standings, for more sports and teams than anyone in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. Oh, I just saw a snowplow go by. I hope that's not a uh, – <laughs> Not a sign of a Ohio. Sign. <laughs> <laughs> We've got beautiful skies and, and mid-50s temperatures here, and I just saw a snowplow go by. So let's hope they're putting it up for the winter. So <laughs> – they are underway in the girls' 4 by 200 meter relay. So it's always tough to get a good perception of who's doing what here on the first leg here of, the, of this race until we get to that second handoff. So we'll try to get a good judgment of who's doing well here in the first handoff. And it does look like Fort Lormy yeah, is, you're right. got a handoff, maybe first there. So. A way for us to kind of tell on that back stretch, you know, maybe who's in the lead here. But we should see here coming around this corner where everybody is at or close, and close to be. Yeah, you're right. It does look like Fort Lormie is in the lead here in the girls' 4 by 200 as they get to the third handoff. As I said, each girl runs a 200-meter sprint. As I say, a sprint. That's a long, it's a long, long sprint. <laughs> Doing a great job. You did here. have one. At, looks like one team had an athlete fall down there, on that corner. So we see that every once in a while in these big meets, girls and boys get jumbled up when they hand off the baton here. As they come down to the anchor runners here in the girls' four by two hundred meter relay. I believe that is Fort Warren. I believe that Alan is Fort Warren. If we can get a shot of those young ladies out there in front. And I believe followed closely there by maybe West Liberty or Minster in the second position. Both teams are orange and black, so have a hard time. So yeah, it looks like that's Minster. Minster, Fort Lormie. And we got Spencerville coming up there in lane two. And a great run here in for second and third. And... Fort Lormie wins the girls 4x200 meter, followed by, looks like, Layman Catholic, followed by, no, let's see, Minster is in second, Versailles in third. Coming in fourth, Spencerville, followed by West Liberty Salem, and St. Henry in the sixth position, followed by Layman Catholic and New Bremen. So a good start to the relay season here as the Fort Lormie Redskins win the girls 4x200 meter relay. We're back here for the start of the boys' 4 by 200 meter relay. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stober from the 47th Annual Minster Track and Field Invitational. Let's take a look at the lineup for today's 4 by 200 meter relay. Yeah, coming in with the best seed time is Marion Local, but quite a few teams all in that area. Yeah, it's, know, a, it's, a, it's a crowded 33, field, 33, yeah. 33 minute 34 time um, frame, but if we look at the lane selection, in lane one is Fort Lormie, and lane two is Spencerville. In lane three is West Liberty. In lane four is Marion Local. In lane five is St. Henry. In lane six is Versailles. In lane seven is Minster. And in late, lane eight is Bradford. And we take a look at that Spencerville team. Some familiar names with Zach Zerby, Grady Smith, Michael Woods, and Braxton McMichael. Some kids that have played other sports this year here on WSN. And one of our colleagues' young sons there, right there in the middle of that one. <laughs> Have to give a shout out to John Zerby. Absolutely. One of our broadcasters here at 
WOSN is here enjoying the, the nice weather, well, watching and, his kid. And I looked down there, and I saw John and his wife down there, and just the crowd of people wanting his autograph. It's just amazing. It's a, so yeah. hard there. He, he, I don't know how he gets to enjoy a track you know, meet had with to his move, fans. Had to move a couple times yes, just to get I, out of the, the fan base. Well, so. and he means the folks here have put security down around him yeah. just so he can enjoy the meet, which is really kind to them. And we are underway for the boys' 4 by 200 meter relay here. As they get started here, great start here. And we take a look on the back side of this track. A couple young men battling it out for a chance to get the baton first. Great start by all these teams here. It does look like Marion Local received the first handoff there. In the second leg here, has come like I said earlier, comes in with the best seed time and looks like they're moving pretty well here, almost catching up with everybody else. Yeah, Marion Local second leg. Marion Local and Minster battling one two here. Great run by the Flyers here as they try to win the boys for it. A nice handoff yeah. there by Marion Local. You saw the turnaround there as he extends his hand, and Marion Local extends that lead as they get it to the third runner in the boards boys, excuse me, four by two relay. Yeah, as you said, that handoff was really well done. Right when he put his hand down, that baton was, was there, and he was able to go. And we see how much of a lead now this Marion Lowe has. They're already handing off to this final leg here. And they have got a substantial lead here in the boys' 4 by 200 meter relay. And it's not a question for first place as the Flyers are going to win this one. It's a battle for second, third, and fourth. As it looks like West Liberty Salem is going to finish second, followed by Versailles, followed by the hometown Wildcats, as they'll finish in the fourth position. So a good run for all those teams as Marion Local wins it with a time of 131. Blazing time here early in the season for the Flyers, followed by West Liberty, Versailles, Minster, St. Henry, and Bradford in the boys' 4 by 200 meter run. Back here for the girls' 1,600-meter run, Josiah. And a, 29 runners in this event, a huge field for the Minster Invitational. Yeah, if we look at the top seed times coming in, uh, Minster has top two, uh, which is not a surprise um, <laughs> up here uh, with Margaret Hemmelgarn and Cheney Cedarleaf, both with the best times. Margaret Hemmelgarn comes in with a 5 minutes, 8-second time for this 1600 meter run so we should be looking out especially for that orange out in front for this race well look just as we talk about the minster track and field program and this is their wheelhouse they excel in the distance events so no surprise they've got the top times coming into this event well you, you know you look at especially winning these events you know when you can score two athletes consistently in a lot of these long distance events where sure. a lot of athletes really don't want to do you know these are the difficult races sure absolutely um you know and they're scoring in the top two top three you know that's why it's been so consistent as a program winning these invitationals and sending so many athletes down the state and josiah you, you you and i both know that this is a great opportunity in the 1600 and in the 3200 it's a great opportunity for young runners to get their name in a program to 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 establish their work ethic with a coaching staff and to show their teammates that, hey, look, I want to be part of something special here. So a great opportunity for these younger kids to get into an event. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we see a lot of young athletes, you know, in this race for these teams. And like you said, that, that work ethic, you know, is so important. And, you know, you build every single year. And we see this, these two Minster runners, both seniors this year, you know, have probably paid their dues with sure. other great runners, oh. behind, you know, in front of them. But just continually working hard to get to this spot, you know, to be in that top two, especially in the invitationals. Yeah. Today's title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style happens here. Josiah, you've got some results from earlier events. Let's take a look at some of those results. Yeah, we have some official results here. Uh, looking at the women's 4x200 meter relay. Uh, the winner of that was Fort Laramie with the team of Ariel Heitkamp, Izzy Meyer, Taylor Schmidt-Meyer, and Sonny Vazard. 
come in with a time of 1 minute 48 seconds to win the 4x2. As we look at the women's long jump, uh, Delaney Jones, that name we've already yes, mentioned. Yes, Delaney Jones. you got to be a great sprinter to be a great long jumper. Yeah, absolutely. Um, wins it uh, for, for West Liberty Salem. Comes in jumping 18 feet. That is really, feet, really impressive. Four inches. I mean, really. wow. We, we saw how smooth she was in the 100-meter dash, and she comes in with an 18.04, so... Just an incredible job by that young lady from West and, Liberty and Salem. I'm hearing it's a meet record. A meet um, record for Delaney, for Jones. Delaney Jones. Congratulations so. to that young lady from West Liberty Salem. And we look at the rest of the field, at least top you know, four of the women's long jump. Hazel Francis from Rushi, um, Audrey Rossman from Fort Laramie, and Ellie Stammen from Versailles, top four in the women's long jump. If we look at the women's 100-meter dash, and we're going to say that same name, <laughs> Laney <laughs> Jones special. with a 12.34 um, in the 100-meter dash. So already two victories uh, for that young lady um, for this West Liberty Salem team. Another just great athlete, you know, to add to the list of great athletes that have come out of West Liberty Salem. And in second place was Aldra McMichael from Spencerville. Uh, Katie McFarland from Layman Catholic and Sam Lover from St. Henry finished out the top four. And Josiah, if you look at Audra McMichael from Spencerville, what a great time to start the year out. She just ran against someone really, really good in Delaney Jones. Yeah, absolutely. That 12 9 9. And, you know, we talked about on the broadcast, you know, just didn't get out to a great start. No, she, but, had, a, she had a poor start, but, but, but a good finish. finish second, yeah. you know, showing that speed. She's going to have a really good year. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. To make up for that time. As we hear the bell ringing. For the final lap, we look at the uh, shot put, the women's shot put here. Winning it is Tori Tayo from Versailles with a throw of 38 feet 1 inch for that. Uh, Emily Earl from Houston finishes second. Julian Geyer from Fort Laramie and Madison Snyder from also from Fort Laramie finish out the top four. Just going through looking at. Quite a few results here. A lot of results already here from the from the field events coming in uh, fast and furious. As we look at the women's 100-meter hurdles, uh, we had Grace Muller from Marion Local running a 15.33. Ariel Heitkamp from Fort Lomery, mentioned her name already, finishes second. Molly Brame from Minster and Audrey Rossman from Fort Lomery uh, finishes fourth. So a couple Fort Laramie athletes in the top four. Some great points for that team. Yeah, Grace Muller did a fantastic job in her event there. And we are getting a winner here in the girls' 1,600-meter run as we give all these results out. And a great job. Let's see who we got here. So we got Minster finishing in first, and it looks like it is Cedarleaf. Cedarleaf from Minster with a time of 527. So an impressive job by that young lady in the girls' 1,600-meter run as Cheney Cedarleaf wins the girls' 1,600-meter run. When we come back, we'll have boys' 1,600-meter run right here on WOSN. And we're back here at the 47th Annual Minster Invitational for the boys 1600 meter run. And Josiah, another crowded field, 28 runners as we saw 29 runners in the girls field and Cheney Cedarleaf head and shoulders above the field with a great run in the girls 1600 meter run. Yeah, absolutely. And as we look at this boys field here, some really good runners, we should see some good times. As we look at Asher Long from Covington comes in with the best seed time Four minutes, 25 seconds, so moving you know, <laughs> I'm, for, I'm excited. for a mile yeah. time. <laughs> I'm um, excited to see Asher run this with a time of 425. Yeah. Very, very impressive. And Jack Grishop from Minster uh, comes in right behind him with a 428. Look at some of the other, just a couple of the top five runners, Zach Wiedemann from New Bremen, Asher Knox from West Liberty, and Ian Grillot from Fort Laramie all have times under that 440 mark. And you're seeing that crowded field on the back stretch there, which we'll typically see. And uh, I don't know, but I have a feeling with this star-studded field, I don't know that we're going to see a lot of separation uh, because there's a lot of really good runners out there today. Yeah, and we'll see who wants to kind of step out and set the pace, especially early 
in this first lap, as you said, it's really crowded, especially for the that first it lap. Is. Everybody kind of coming around that last corner here, really bunched up, and, and we see it's yeah. West Liberty. And Asher Long from Covington. Or Covington, Yeah, he's, sorry. he's out in front of the field and looks comfortable leading right in the position he wants to be. You can always see those lead dogs. They want to get out there and they want to lead that field. Yeah, well, you don't want a whole lot of feet in front of you, especially, you know, the opportunity when everybody's bunched up. You want to get out in front, get that early lead if you can. And we're starting to see him kind of thin out a little bit. Yeah, right now it's a race between him and Zach Wiederman for New Bremen, two outstanding runners in this area. We are pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service for only $8 per month. You can watch WSN anywhere, anytime. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv, also available on Roku and Apple TV. Josiah, you've got some more results here on the boys' side. Yeah, for the men's 100-meter dash, Justin off. We saw that race earlier just, just moving. Justin was fantastic. Yeah, great run for Marion Local, coming with 11.12 in that 100-meter dash. Jack Behan from West Liberty Salem came in second. Ryan Worley from St. Henry. And Connor Gibson rounded out the top four in the men's 100-meter dash. So we get some other results here as the field events continue to come in here. As we look at the men's 110-meter hurdles, coming in first was from Bradford, Owen Beachler. Came in with a time of 15.43. Bo Dwinger from Minster was in second. Max Maurer from Fort Laramie. And Max Knapke from Minster round out the top four for the men's 110-meter hurdles. For the men's high jump, see some athletes getting up. Absolutely. <laughs> Love the high jump. Uh, coming in uh, from Rushi, uh, Landon Monin. Came in with a feet, uh, six feet. Nice, nice jump it. this time of yeah. year. Got 10 points for his team. Bradford, Owen Beachler, name we've heard before. Uh, jump 5'10", rounding out the top four. Brennan Potts from Lehman Catholic and Preston King from Covington were the top four in the men's high jump. Not to interrupt you, but we're on the last lap here of the boys' 1,600-meter run, and Asher Long is at 321 right now as he goes into that last lap. So a very impressive run by that young man from Covington. Go ahead. Yeah, really just setting the pace here. Really hasn't slowed down. Almost looks like he's picked it up. <laughs> I was going to say, I, as soon as you said that, I looked on the backstretch, and he is really extending that lead, and he is really bearing down. Yeah, getting out early. And just a couple more results here for the men's 4x8. The winner of that was Minster with a time of 8 minutes, 18 seconds. So congratulations to those young men. Coming in second, Versailles, Fort Wayne, Canterbury was in third place, and Rushi was in fourth place. So a lot of results coming in, and we will get you results as they come in. The folks here at Minster do a great job of getting us all the field results and all the previous events. And uh, if you're waiting to hear those results, we'll get them as soon as they come in. But right now, Asher Long from Covington High School is going to win the boys' 1,600-meter run. And he's kind of taking the, taking the gas off the pedal a little bit as he comes across the line with an impressive time of 432 to win the boys' 1,600-meter run. And coming in second, it is the young man from New Bremen, Zach Wiederman, followed up by, I believe, Jack Rice hop from Minster, I believe, finishes third. Yes, it is. So a nice run for those young men. That will wrap up the boys' 1,600-meter run. When we come back, we'll have a really quick relay, the boys and girls' 4x100-meter relay. And we're back here at Minster High School for today's Minster Memorial Track Invitational. Our title sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. It's the girls' 4x100 meter relay. And Josiah, we talk a, a lot on this broadcast about technique. This is absolutely an event where technique matters in everything these girls do. Yeah, from the start to the handoffs to the just 
continue to run strong, you know, it's all important. You know, just such a fast race, you know, just that, that little mistake. <laughs> little mistake can cost your team. And, you know, we should see some good time, at least with seed time, looking at Fort Loramie in lane four, you know, over almost two seconds according to seed time. Yeah, you know, absolutely. But, you know, should be. And those can change, yeah. yeah absolutely, but. You know, with that, you know, expecting a really good race from them. But looking at the rest of the field in lane one is Houston. In lane two is St. Henry. In lane three is West Liberty. Fort Lormie is in that lane four, so it should be good to watch. In lane five is Versailles. Lane six is Lemon Catholic. Lane seven is Spencerville. And lane eight is Minster. So we are underway in the girls' 4 by 100 meter relay. It's four girls per team. They each run 100 meters, or 100 meters in theory. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Yep. Uh, but they are underway, and the second baton has been handed down the backstretch as they go to the third runner in a crowded field right now. Too close to call this one right now. Yeah, a couple teams there look like they struggle with the handoff uh, there. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, when you get into those exchange zones and there's a girl beside you on each side, it is absolutely crucial that everything goes to form, and it looks like it's going to be is that – Fort Loramie in the lead or coming up on yeah, the lead? Taking it strong. Fort Loramie wins the girls four by 100. I mean, that is a close race, Josiah. Absolutely. As one through six or seven was just bang, bang, bang. And we see that Fort Loramie wins with a time of 51.9, followed by West Liberty at 52.3, followed by Lehman Catholic out of Sydney at 52.4. And coming in in the fourth position, Versailles at 52.5. And Minster follows it up with a 52.6 showing, followed by St. Henry and Spencerville. So a great run for the girls, 4 by 100 meter relay. Back here at Minster for the boys, four by two, excuse me, boys four by 100 meter relay. I'm giving an extra 100 meters to run. I don't think they want to do that, but uh, we are ready for the boys four by 100 meter relay. Yeah, as we look at the field here, really bunched up in times between St. Henry, Marion Local, West Liberty, and Fort Lorme. We all have very similar times. We look at the field in lane one is Versailles. In lane two is Minster. In lane three is West Liberty. In lane four is St. Henry coming in with the best seed time. In lane five is Marion Local. In lane six is Fort Laramie. In lane seven is Spencerville. And in lane eight is South Adams. So we saw a crowded field for the girls, uh, four by one, a great race, a really close race. Uh, let's hope we get another great race here in the boys, four by 100, which I don't expect anything less than fantastic. We got a great field here this afternoon. Warming up here on the track a little bit. I see some jackets coming off, and uh, not, not that it's hot, but it is no. warmer. We're uh, in the high 50s, low 60s here, so beautiful day here. Sunshine splashed afternoon, and we are underway in the boys' four by, and a lot of great handoffs there, so they are getting after it here on the back stretch. Here St. Henry, the, yeah. as you're saying, St. Yeah. Henry had a really good handoff there. Also, look like it's hard to tell on that back yeah, stretch who's right. out in front here, but just some other good handoffs. And it looks like Marion local. local really doing a great – yeah, it is Marion Local, the Flyers, followed by St. Henry, followed up by West Liberty, Salem, and, and Spencerville. Spencerville, and maybe great job. Place. I think you're right. The Bearcats get a nice third-place finish. Marion Local wins it with a time of 44.5, and they are followed up in the second position by – St. Henry with a 45-2, followed by Spencerville at 46-7. West Liberty comes in at fourth. Fort Loramie at fifth. And Versailles will round it out in the sixth position with 47.6. So a great run for the boys, four by 100-meter relay. When we come back, we'll catch out one fast lap as we go to the 400-meter dash right here on WOSN. We're back here at Minster High School. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stober, and our entire WSN crew broadcasting the 47th annual Minster Track and Field Invitational. And up next on the track are the girls' 400-meter dash. Yeah, and we'll have to keep an eye out for Carly Bessaker from Covington. Comes in with the best time of a 59.74. That's the goal. It's That's under a minute. Everybody wants absolutely. that under a minute time, yeah. Uh, in the rest of it, West Liberty in lane one, Mallory Bostic. From Rushi, Violet Armstrong in lane three, April Baker from New Bremen, uh, Carly Besker in lane four, uh, Ava Stammen from Minster, Maria Niekamp from Minster, 
Gwen McCullough from West Liberty and Morgan Balmer from St. Henry round out the field. This is a really, really tough event, and I say it may be one of the toughest in track and field, i.e. the 300-meter hurdles. Uh, you know, there's some other Absolutely. events that are really tough. But this is one lap, and, and a lot of times you've got to figure it out. Is it a sprint? Is it a distance? You know, and it really is a sprint. It's, it's, you give it all you got, but you've got to be able to you know, save some for the, <laughs> for the, for the stretch run here. Uh, as, as we see a lot of times, these girls come around that last stretch there on the back turn and really fade off. But yeah, well, uh, like you said, any more. I feel like it's become a sprint to get that under yeah. a minute time. You know, you really got to be moving. And yeah. it looks like here we got and Violet Armstrong from Rushi. Yeah, That'd doing a great amazing. job yeah. leading here. And she's going to get to the finish line first at 102. So a great job there by the young lady from Rushi. The Raiders represented well in the girls' 4 by 100, four, excuse me, 400 meter dash as Armstrong wins it, followed by Bostic from West Liberty. And Stamen from Minster comes in at 103. Bomber from St. Henry. Besecker from Covington. And McCullough from West Liberty, Salem. And that will wrap up the girls' 400-meter dash. Back here at Minster High School for the boys' 400-meter dash. Today's title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. So, Josiah, one lap around for the boys. We saw a great run by the girls, and now it's the boys' turn. Yeah, as we look at the lane assignments in lane one, Brevin Loudon from West Liberty, Will Kanapke from Minster, Tyler Barga from Versailles, Coming in with the best seed time and from Marion Local is Wesley Schoen with a time of 50.64. His teammate, Victor Holscher, is in lane five. Troy Bradley from West Liberty is in lane six. Logan Craig from New Bremen is lane seven. And Eli Dirksen from Versailles is in lane eight. And one name that sticks out to me in this uh, field is Victor Holscher from Marion Local. We saw him all football season, an outstanding player on the gridiron. Let's see how he does on the track and field here in the boys' 400-meter run. Danny Holberg, Josiah Stober, the 47th annual Minster Track and Field Invitational. We've had a great day so far. We've saw some outstanding performances, and we are underway in the boys' 400-meter dash. And we see that bright yellow from Marion Local coming around that they've turn. Got, they've got an outstanding team this year, as yeah, they had absolutely. last year, the boys' program especially. They've got some outstanding runners, and they're proving it here today at Minster. It's always interesting to me when you have the, the depth that Marion Local has, how those athletes compete with each other on the track and field. It's, it's really interesting, and here we see both runners from Marion Local leading the pack here in the boys' 400-meter run. Well, we see that in every sport, how depth yes. is so important. Every day they're competing you know, on the track and on the basketball court, on the football field. And we're seeing it here is a 1-2 finish wow. by Marion Local. A 1-2 finish by Marion Local. Those are big points for the Flyers. And it looks to me like it was shown with the first place finish and Holscher with the second place finish. Both of them running under 53. So really good runs for this time of the year. Absolutely. And great run by and some big points for Marion Local. Welcome back to Minster High School, back here for the girls' 300-meter hurdles. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stober. Josiah, I, look, for me, this is the toughest event in track and field. Not only, yeah, not only are you running almost an entire lap, i.e. 300 as opposed to 400, you're jumping hurdles. Absolutely. <laughs> this is absolutely grueling. You see some of your best athletes in this event. Yeah, and that last hurdle looks like a mountain that you have to jump over. So <laughs> I agree, it's one of the toughest events as we look at our lineup here. Sophia Hardwick is in lane one. Lane two is Grace Muller from Marion Local. Lane three, Miriam Garrett from Versailles. In lane four, Carly Boucher from St. Henry. Ariel Heitkamp from Fort Lormy is in lane five. In lane six, Ava Schmidt from South Adams. Her teammate Capri Bixler is in lane seven. In lane eight, Cadence Bergman from Minster. Yeah, and a great race started so far here as they come around the last curve here. And we're kind of bunched up here. Not a lot of separation between the athletes. And it looks like, if we can get a visual here, there are three runners running one, two, and three. Looks like Ariel Heitkamp and St. Henry's Carly Boucher 
battling out, coming to this last hurdle. Who can sprint to the finish? <laughs> uh, that is too close uh, to call. We're going to have to wait to see the timing on that one. What an incredible race by those two young like ladies. Height camp. height camp from Fort Loramie. So the Redskins get a big points there for 10 po total points, excuse me, as they win that event. Busher from St. Henry comes in at second, followed by Hardwick from West Liberty, Schmidt from South Adams. So maybe one of the best races we've seen all afternoon. Yeah, definitely tight through the end. And like you said, just a tough race and a good battle there at number one and two there. So great race by these young ladies. And we're back here at Minster High School for the Minster Invitational Track and Field Meet. Today's title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Danny Holbrook, Josiah Stober. The boys' 300-meter hurdles and a star-studded field in this event. Yeah, and it's really tight. Could be a tight race as we got quite a few athletes in that 41-second uh, time frame here. So as we look at our field, here, Isaac Holthouse from Fort Loramie, Max Knapke from Minster in lane two, Connor Gibson in lane three, Daylene Garrett with the best seed time from Covington is in lane four, Owen Beachler from Bradford is in lane five, Landon Arling from Marion Local is in lane six, Kenseth Hoying is in, from St. Henry is in lane seven, and lane eight, Bo Dwinger from Minster. Just that it's so important when you are in a field where the times are just simply so close to each other. It's so important to get that good start and to get that good technique across those hurdles. And we're seeing it right here as one through five is a really tight race here in the boys' 300-meter hurdles. Yeah, we see Isaac Holdhouse in lane one challenging for this going into the last lap. And it looks like it was at the end, Dalen Garrett. For Covington that came back on that last hurdle to finish, but a great race there by Isaac Oldhouse from Fort Laramie in lane one. Yeah, Holdhouse comes in at, in the second position. Gibson from Versailles comes in third, and Knapke fourth. Arling from Marion Local and Hoying from St. Henry sixth. The great run by all those athletes in the boys' 300-meter hurdles. Back here at Minster, the girls' 800-meter run up next on the track. 16 runners in this one, Josiah. Yeah, if we look at the top seed, uh, comes in is Annie Hemmelgarn from Minster. Well, the second best seed time is Miley Sh Shadow from Fort Laramie. Maya Hirschfield from New Bremen. Camille Borchers from Fort Laramie and Meredith Barga from Versailles round out the top five seed times. And it's interesting, Josiah, you talked about the girls from Minster and the girls from Fort Laramie, and they are in a neck-and-neck -neck battle for the overall lead right now in the track meet. Yeah, if you look at the updated scores right now, Fort Laramie has taken on the women's side, has taken the lead here uh, with 85 points after 11 events have been scored, followed, like you said, by Minster with 71.5 points in third place currently is West Liberty Salem with 60. Versailles is in fourth place with 47.50 and rounding out the top five is St. Henry with 39.5 points. Yeah so we are in for a serious battle as this one goes down to the wire uh, between Minster and Fort Loramie and uh, West Liberty I'm sure will have a say in that as they've got athletes all over the field so the 800 meters is next it is two laps for these young ladies as they go around this track. Now, this is a tough race, Josiah. Yeah. This is a real tough race. You, <laughs> you run that first lap, and you're, you, you, you know, you, you're giving it your all, and then you realize, I got, I got one lap. more. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. And kind of going back to the team points, as you look yeah. here, top four, you know, Fort Laramie does have two runners. So just especially with these big invitationals, key is if you can get two athletes to score, score points, every, how yeah. big – that is towards the overall final results. and But Minster, you know, has the best seed time currently. But, you know, Fort Lorme, who's trying to, to win, and this is a big you know, oh, invitation. Yeah. If you can win this to start the year, it's, oh, you're it's, <laughs> a, it's a great – uh, great thing for your program. So Yeah, you're not going to win a state track and field meet in April, but you sure can set yourself up for success in Absolutely. April. And winning a meet like the Minster Invitational would, would go a long way in the progression of your squad. Yeah. 
Check out our website, WOSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WOSN-TV. Yeah, we'll throw in a couple of results here, too, for the women's 300-meter hurdles from Fort Laramie Aerial Height Camp with a win of 46.66 seconds. Uh, Carly Bursher from St. Henry came in second, and Miriam Gerhardt from Versailles came in third place. Look at results for the women's 400-meter dash. Violet Armstrong from Rushi came in a time of one minute, two seconds. She was a 400 She looked dash. great in yep. that run. She was Absolutely. fantastic, yeah. And only a freshman. Oh, my so, goodness. A lot of bright future for her. And second place was West Liberty Salem, was Mallory Bostic. And for Minster, Ava Stammen came in third place. So some results there from earlier action today. So track heating up here as we await the runners here in the girls 800 meter run and it looks like it is the young lady from New Bremen coming around the back stretch here as she has taken the lead yeah, Maya Hirschfield Maya Hirschfield from New Bremen and Minster and Fort Lormie are going to go 2-3 and Minster oh another runner from Minster huge points for the orange and black as they'll go 2 and 3 there yeah, like we just said, is how important it is for both athletes to score points. It's a runner kind of go down. Right, yeah, she went down, and she went down hard. Run, but a great run by Hirschfield to take the win for New Bremen. Hirschfield goes one. Hemelgar from Minster goes two. Bowman from Minster goes three. So 14 huge points for the Minster Wildcats in that run. So, a, a, you know. When they've got this neck and neck battle with Fort Laramie, those are big time points. Back here at Minster High School, the boys' 800 meter run. Josiah, let's take a look at this field. Yeah, as we got 14 runners here in this heat with the best seed time from Minster, Jack Grishop. Uh, the senior from Minster comes in with a time of 1 minute 57 seconds. Uh, Quentin Rudolph, Andrew Pullman, Asher Long, Sam Bernhold, Caden Neuschwanger. Ian Grillet, Tony Mormon, Mitchell Adams, Pierce Whitlack, Samuel Flypot, Brenton Rodriguez, Carter Dirksen, and Marcus Briscoe round out our first heat. So they are going down the backstretch in the boys' 800-meter run. The WSN Score app is new and improved. Download the brand-new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. So a nice run here. They are bunched up, Josiah, and you said it. They uh, a big field and uh, not a lot of separation so far as they come down the home stretch. Yeah, and it looks like Jack Grishop is starting to set the tone here as he comes out with a good about 15-meter lead here coming up on this first lap, and he's right about he's at right. that minute was, yeah, time. A nice run for a first lap in the boys' 800-meter run by Grishop from Minster. A little bit of separation here as he is putting everybody in the rear view mirror, and he looks really strong. You can see those kids uh, a lot of times, Josiah, that spend a lot of time in the weight room in the wintertime, and it looks like that young man has really worked on his technique, and he looks really comfortable leading the boys' 800-meter run. Well, many people may not think in track and field – they need to be in the weight room, but it's <laughs> yeah. so important that strength and work on that speed and just that balance and that core work is so important for a track athlete. And as you said, is you know we see that those athletes that really cling to that and realize yes. yeah, yeah. how important that is. They start seeing their times just go down and down and down, and how important it is. Stronger athlete is a better athlete, and here comes Grease Hop. He's going to win this one really easy, and he's going to come in with a time of 2:03.9, a fantastic time for that young man. As Grease Hop from Minster wins the boys' 800 meter run, followed by Rudolph from West Liberty Salem. Uh, excuse me. No, I'm sorry. Neuschwander from South, South Adams, Adams, Indiana yep. wins that or comes in at second. We were waiting for the board to update there. But a, a nice run by all the athletes in the boys' 800-meter run. 
And we're back here at Minster High School for today's Minster Memorial Track and Field Invitational. Our title sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. So, Josiah, of all the events today, we look at the seat times in the girls' 200 meters, and these might be the closest ones we've had all day. Yeah, all seat times here in the 27-second range. So, not much separation between these athletes. So, expecting a really high-quality race here as we look at the lane assignments. In lane one is Katie McFarland. In lane two is Carrie Heckman. In lane three is Sonny Vossard. In lane four, with the best seed time from Spenceville is Aldra McMichael. In lane five, Avery Hellman from Bradford. Miriam Gehart is in lane six for Versailles. Taylor Schmidtmeyer from Fort Lormie is in lane seven. And Josephine Potest from Versailles is in lane eight. And here they come down the home stretch, and it looks like it's going to be a close one here, and it looks like... Lane six, and that is Miriam Garrett from Versailles wins that one with a time of 26.8. So an impressive run by that young lady in lane six. Yeah, a lot of good times there under that 27 mark as Vossard from Fort Ormie finishes in second. So a great run by that young lady. <clears throat> Welcome back to Minster High School where the boys 200 meter dash is all set to go here as we wind down this 47th annual Minster Invitational and Josiah let's take a look at this field. Yeah as we look at the lane assignments here in lane one is Tyler Barga from Versailles. In lane two Kellen Putman from Convoy Crestview. In lane three Victor Holscher from Marion Local. His teammate with the fastest seed time coming in is Wesley Schoen from Marion Local. In lane five, Jack Bahan from West Liberty. Zage Harleman from Bradford is in lane six. Troy Bradley from West Liberty is in lane seven. And Ryan Worley from St. Henry is in lane eight. And Josiah, I keep an eye on lane three and four. Victor Holscher and Wesley Schoen as they really did a nice job in the 100-meter dash. And those two boys can flat out get out and get after it. Yeah, one of these races here where we see a lot of speed, you know, especially coming around that um, corner. <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? there's nothing like that in big meets is watching the kids come around the corner, especially in the boys' 200-meter dash, and you really see the athleticism of all those kids as they stretch out those leads. So they get called to the block, and they are in the set position, and they are underway. And you hear that new horn this year, no more starting mm -hmm. pistols. That's that horn there, so. Yeah. Great run here by these young men, and as they come around that last curve, and as I said, it's the two young men from Marion Local going up <laughs> against each other, and this looks like Marion Local is going to win that race, and that is going to be... Looks like Victor Holscher. Looks like you're right. I think you're right. And Victor Holscher wins the boys' 200-meter dash. Uh, coming in second is Bahan from West Liberty, and... No, excuse me, Bradley from yeah, Bradley from West Liberty, Mahan from West Liberty, second and third. So the Tigers getting some big points from yeah, West Marion, Liberty Salem. Marion goes one four, and West Liberty Salem goes two three. So big points for both programs. Back here at Minster High School, Danny Hilbert, Josiah Stober, the girls' 3,200-meter run, two miles, and uh, never had the privilege of running this one. <laughs> I think there's a reason for that. The privilege or uh, being forced to? I was going to say, there you go. <laughs> I could probably get it forced to, but uh, never uh, wanted to. This is a tough race. Yeah, as we look at the field here, uh, look at our top five uh, seated times. Uh, Lauren Moore from Fort Laramie comes in about 12, 12 minutes. A two-minute mile seed time. Um, Malaya Miller from West Liberty. Ali Heath from St. Henry from Crestview. Anna Gardner from New Bremen. Riley Suchlin are our top five times uh, for the field, remainder of the field. Colleen Borchers from Fort Lormie. Ava Rissmiller from Versailles. Gabrielle Spitzler from Versailles. From Minster, Ellie Grishop. From West Liberty, Taylor Kennedy, Riley Byling from 
Minster from New Bremen, Shaley Boyle from South Adams, Callie Trosh from Spencerville, teammates Hope Hamilton and Megan Miller from Houston, Lily Dietrich, and from Layman Catholic, Meg Schmeezing. And you've got some uh, results that have just come in there, uh, Josiah. Let's take a look at some of those earlier results. Yeah, as we look at the women's 200-meter dash, Miriam Garrett from Versailles with a time of 26.81. Emmy Ray from Layman Catholic ran a 27.09. And from Fort Laramie, uh, Sonny Vossard came in third with a 27.24. So some big points for Versailles there to take that. Uh, just from the 800-meter run, uh, Meyer Hirschfield from New Bremen. Uh, Minster went 2-3. Annie Hemmelgarn and Claire Bowen both finished 2-3, so 14 big points Big for points Minster. there, yeah, absolutely. As we get some results from some field events, also the, the men's pole vault. Winner of it was Marion Local, uh, Toby Kremer, uh, with 13 feet 8 inches with the pole vault. Parker Brown from Spencerville finished second with a vault of 13 feet 4 inches. And Charlie Winner from Minster with 13 feet pole vault. Do we have an updated score on the girls' competition? I know with two events left here, the 2-mile and the 4x4, four four, it's been really tight between Minster and Fort Laramie if we get an updated score on that. Yeah, we'll look up at the team scores here for the women after 13 events have been scored. In fifth place is St. Henry with 41.5 points. In fourth place, West Liberty Salem has 60, very close to Versailles. In third place, has 61.5. In second place is Minster, has 85.5. And in first place currently is Fort Laramie with 102 okay. points. So a, a good battle between Fort Laramie and Minster here today in the girls' competition. So the girls are underway here in the 3,200-meter run, eight laps around the track, and we'll catch all the action right here on WOSN. Wrapping up the girls' 3,200-meter run, and right now Malia Miller from West Liberty is leading this one. She's got one lap left, and she's doing a great job of separating herself from the field. Yeah, she's been consistent throughout this entire race, really keeping the pace doing a good job of, of pumping those arms and continuing to lap the the rest of the, <laughs> yeah. the course here. So you know, like we should be. You take a look at a day like today, and we, we've talked about the weather and the sun's been out all day, but it is kind of tough when, when the temperatures are, 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 are kind of cold and you have to stay warm, and obviously for the runners it's a little bit easier. But, uh, you know, what do you, what, you, know, you want to keep those muscles loose and, and, and that kind of thing. Yeah, but I found over time a lot of times these long distance runners like it a little bit they colder. They do. They do. Yeah. When they're out running, instead of it being so hot that they're you know draining their sprinters, energy. Sprinters, yeah, sprinters like the heat, and distance runners do not like the heat. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of these runners who you know are avid runners outside of just the the track and field, you know, like to get out in this weather. You know, looking at you know temperature around you know 55 degrees, 56 degrees right now. It's probably perfect weather for them. I'm running here as we got about just about 200 meters left for our leader, uh, Maya Miller from West Liberty. West Liberty known for a lot of really good distance runners. And, uh, you know, it's a great competition for them to come over and face the Minster girls who are, are known around the state for their, you know, distance running. Yeah, absolutely. It's Maya's coming around that last corner here. And, you know, like I said, hasn't really slowed down at no, all. She it's has just not. kept that consistent pace. And I think. You know, as these distance runners, that's key is can you keep that pace consistent? And she's done it here the last 100, 100 meters. So Maya Miller from West Liberty Salem is going to win the, excuse me, Malia Miller from West Liberty Salem is going to win the girls' 3,200-meter run with a time of 12.08. An impressive run for that young lady this early in the season as uh, she hits the turf, as a lot yeah. of runners do, and uh, gets a quick breather over there. She wins the girls' 3,200-meter run. Here comes second place in the building, young lady from, I believe, Fort Laramie is in second place. Some big points for the Fort Laramie Redskins. They've been impressive today, Josiah. Yeah, They've absolutely. been impressive. Just, just consistent, you know, yeah. being in the top four in most of these uh, races and 
done a good job here. It looks like we have another finisher coming in. Yeah. So as the board gets updated, we'll let you know the third place for Riss Miller Ms. from Miller. Versailles. Versailles comes in third. Moore comes in at second from, uh, let's see, Miller from uh, West Liberty wins it. Moore from Fort Loramie. Riss Miller from Versailles. Borchers from Fort Loramie. So another. Fort Loramie goes 1-4, picking up another big bunch of points there for the Lady Redskins. And Grease Hop from Minster goes fifth. So impressive run by those young ladies in the girls' 3,200-meter run. Back here at Minster High School, where today's title sponsor for the Minster Memorial Invitation is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lionel, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. So the boys' 3,200-meter relay is upon us and a crowded field of 24 runners, Josiah. Yeah, as we look at our top five seed times, and a name we've already mentioned, Asher Knox. Who was fantastic in the mile run. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. Comes in with the best seed time. Almost about a 20-second difference. So we'll see if that plays out here today at the Minster Memorial Invitational. Uh, Zach Weedman, Weedman from New Bremen. Nick Pranger from Minster with his teammate, Ryan Halpin from Minster. And also from West Liberty, Dylan King are our top five seed times. Uh, looking at some of the other runners here to fill out the remainder of this field. Jackson Spitzer, Dominic Schroer, Cameron Magato, Dalton Pullman, Deacon Beerbon, Beck Wilson, Lucas Broering, Henry Lee, Michael Rindler, Austin Monin, Xavier Moore, Ethan Kester, Jaden Garkey, Brian Ballman, Gavin Lass, Ryan Mestemaker, Owen Sargent, Carson Locks, and Tanner Braun round out this field. So again, we saw an impressive run of by Asher Knox from West Liberty, who was just fantastic in his first race in the mile run. And we'll see if he can uh, get the get the uh, two wins here today. You've got some more results uh, from further action. Yeah, let's look at some of the men's results from today. For the men's 800 meter was won by Jack Grishop from Minster in a time of two minutes, three seconds. He was great in that yeah, race. Absolutely. He was great. Uh, rounding out the top three was Caden Neuschwanger from South Adams and Tony Mormon from Versailles. In the men's 200 meter dash, Marion Local was Victor Holscher who ran a great race in that 200 meter. Uh, teammates West Liberty Salem, Troy Bradley, and Jack Baham both finished 2-3 for West Liberty in the 200-meter dash. In the men's 300-meter hurdles, that was Owen Beachler from Bad Bradford, Isaac Holthouse from Fort Lormie, and Connor Gibson from Versailles were the top three. So here we go. We see Asher Knox leading the field here in the boys' two-mile run. Looks comfortable doing it. We've talked about him earlier this meet. He was fantastic in the mile, and he's got two laps down already as he leads the boys' two-mile run, 3,200 meters. So two laps left here in the boys' 3,200-meter run in a tight race as Wiederman from New Bremen leads the pack right now. And uh, they're all bunched up here coming on the back stretch. Yeah, have four runners there all right beside each other. Looks like they're kind of keeping that pace to see who's going to push it at the this final lap coming up here. But yeah, you wonder. And Asher Knox, the winner in the mile, is uh, sitting in fourth right now. And you wonder if he's just sitting back waiting for his opportunity. <laughs> Yeah, because with that pace of that first four, it's almost allowing, you know, five and six to kind of catch up here. It is. We'll yeah. see if that plays into it. But we're going to see here as they come on the last lap here, uh, as they're bunched up one through four, even five and six, you're right, have a chance to get up there in the lead. So we'll see what happens here. Well, it looks like now we got two Tigers there up front deciding who's going to kick it in and at what time. I don't know if that's Dylan King Dylan maybe. King, Dylan King from West Liberty and Asher Knox from West Liberty. The two Tigers are in the lead right now on the last lap. So we'll see how they battle this one out. Well, kind of the strategies does come into play here. When do you start kicking it in? We saw it there. 
you know, from Dylan King is starting, you know, really from about 600 meters to go, started to kick it in. You see him now. Yeah, he's really he's he's really pushing, pushing himself it. hard right now, and he's getting some separation between him and his teammate Asher Knox. And let's see what Knox decides to do, as he is right on the heels of his teammate. Yeah, it looks like West Liberty right now is in one two. It looks like Minster is there in third place. And look at Knox coming around the corner. He's going to try to kick it in here. It's going to be a great finish between yeah, these two see. teammates. I absolutely love it when two teammates are battling out for a first place finish. And here comes Asher Knox. Oh, man. And you knew it was a matter of time. We saw him run earlier today, and he's showing you why he is a fantastic distance runner. And he's going to win the boys' two-mile run with a time of 10-12, just under 10-13. Yeah, and his teammate Dylan King really pushing there at the end. You don't often see a pass on the inside yeah. of the track. Well, you, t you try to tell your kids to stay off the uh, curves and not pass, but uh, Dylan King kicked it in a little early. Uh, who am I to uh, critique <laughs> that kind of run? Because that was fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely. And what, what big points there for West Liberty going 1-2. Two, two teammates battling it out and kind of saw it in play. That 600 meters that last time when Dylan King kind of set that pace to go around the last 400 meters. And then we saw that Asher Knox just push it that last about 150 meters really kicked it in the gear great run in the boys two mile run back here minster invitational the last event of the afternoon the girls four by 400 meter relay and josiah let's take a look at the teams represented in this race yeah in lane one is layman catholic in lane two is west liberty in lane three is saint henry in lane four with the best seed time is minster four minutes 16 seconds in lane five is Versailles. In lane six is Fort Laramie. In lane seven is New Bremen. And in lane eight is Spencerville. Now, I know we don't have some of the events finished today, but do we have an updated score for the girls up to this point without, uh, looks like the pole vault still has not scored and a few others. Yeah, as we look at on the scoreboard so far, we've only had 14 of 21 events scored for the women. In sixth place is Marion Local. In, with 27 points. In fifth place is St. Henry with 41.5 points. Fourth place is West Liberty Salem with 70. And there's a battle. Versailles has 70.5 points, so only up by .5 there for third and fourth place. In second place is Minster with 91.5 points. And it looks like who will finish, but we do have some more scoring to come. Sure. Fort Lormie with 115 points. So, uh, a battle still here with some uh, unscored events yet. Uh, so we'll see how this all hand pans out, excuse me, as the girls finishing up this meet with a four by four in the meter. And really, Josiah, this is the last event at every track meet, and it's great to see the teams line the field and cheer on their teammates, and it's it's always a spectacular event, the four by four in the meter relay. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you see most of the time all the, the teammates coming over to support you know, they're runners and their classmates running in this event. So we start seeing, especially as the <laughs> as the event goes on, yeah. as the, we get to that last lap, the excitement continues to pick up. And as a coach, uh, I've, I've sat down there many a time and, and looked at the scores and tried to figure out where we can finish and still win the meet or yep. contend for a, for a second or third place, you know, win somewhere along the line. So the girls finishing up here in the 4x400 four meter relay. We are pleased to announce new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv, also available on Roku and Apple TV. Big thanks to the Minster Athletic Department here as they've done a great job of hosting us today here for the 47th Annual Minster Track and Field Meet. And I believe Fort Loramie is in the lead. Can we... Zoom in on those young ladies and see. Fort Loramie is what we've been told is in the lead right now. So Fort Loramie Minster been battling all day. Why should we expect anything less? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And there's a couple of results coming in. Um, okay. Just with the women's 200-meter dash, uh, Miriam Garrett from Versailles um, with the win with 26.81. Emmy Ray from Lehman Catholic finished second. And Sonny Vossard from Fort Loramie came in with time of 278 two four as i said there are some events that hopefully we'll get here shortly as they're finishing up here so we look at the women's 800 meter 
Uh, Maya Hirschfield from New Bremen won that with a 2 minute 28 seconds. Annie Hemmelgarn from Minster and Claire Bowman from Minster finished 2-3 in that event. Well, it is neck and neck between Fort Lorme and Minster here as they go to the anchor leg of the girls 4x400 four meter relay. This is going to be a fantastic finish. And they are neck and No, Minster takes the lead on the first turn. So the Minster Wildcats have the lead here on the last lap in the girls' 4x400 meter relay. Followed by Fort Lormy, followed by... Well, we're going to have to wait till they get closer yeah. here, Josiah. <laughs> so hard with all those. I, I was going to say, I got glasses uniform. on, but that's, that's a tough one to see. <laughs> lots of orange and lots of black out yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. So Minster stays in the lead as they come on the last curve here. Fort Lormy right behind them, the girls' 4 by 400 meter relay. And here they go as they come down the home stretch. And Fort Lormy has taken the lead. The Lady Redskins have taken the lead. And let's see how this one finishes out. And it's going to be Fort Lormy winning the girls' 4 by 400 followed by Minster, followed by, I believe, St. Henry in third. What a finish by those young ladies from Fort Lormie and Minster. Minster second, West Liberty, excuse me, St. Henry third as the board's updating. In fourth place is Versailles. And looks like West Liberty finishes fifth. Spencerville comes in at sixth. So a fantastic finish for those schools. For the girls, four by 400 meter relay. Welcome back to Minster High School for our final event of the afternoon on a sun-soaked afternoon here at the 47th annual Minster Invitational Track and Field event, the boys' 4x400 meter relay. Yeah, if we look at our lane assignments here, in lane one is New Bremen, in lane two is Fort Laramie, in lane three is Minster, in lane four with the best seed time is Marion Local, and we've seen a lot of these relays. Man, this Marion Local team, they've been they've been fast and quick. They have been they've been fantastic. And, and just yeah. been really good um, throughout this event. In lane five is Versailles, in lane six is West Liberty, in lane seven is South Adams, and in lane eight is Rushi. Let's take a look at our updated scores, Josan. I believe all the scores are in uh, besides the boys' 4x400 four meter, and, and I don't think that's going to factor in. Yeah, as you said, looks like 16 out of the 17 events have been scored. So if we look at all the way um, in 16th place is Houston. In 15th place is Fort Wayne Canterbury High School. In 14th place is South Adams. In 13th place is Lehman Catholic. In 12th is Covington. In 11th place is Spencerville. In 10th place is New Bremen. 9th is Rushi. In 8th place is Fort Laramie. In 7th place is Bradford. 6th place is St. Henry. In 5th place with 34 points is Convoy Crestview. In 4th place with 51 points is Versailles. In 3rd place with West Liberty Salem is 90. In 2nd place is the home team, Minster with 103 and in first place currently with one event to go with 129 points is Marion Local. So Marion Local is going to win the 47th annual yep. Minster Track and Field. And we've saw them all day. They've been absolutely dominant. They really have. Yeah, they've been, you know, especially these, uh, you know, relays, man, you know, either finishing first or second all day long. So, yeah, it's just been a, a solid performance by yeah. this Flyers team. And, th and that's not to take anything away from the home team, Minster Wildcats, because they've been really, really impressive. But Marion Local has just been dominant all day. Yeah, and we talked about just the consistency of, you know, being their depth. depth. Yep, you their know, depth. Having, you know, finishing 1-2 or 1-3, you know, throughout most of the day. So we see why they're in first, and we see just a very good, well-rounded Marion Local boys team. Yeah, another big thank you to our title sponsor today, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. And a big thank you to Athletic Director Josh Clune and everybody here at Minster High School. We have been treated so well as we always are. They do a fabulous job running any athletic event, so uh, we've really enjoyed our time down here. So lap three here of the boys' 4x400 four meter run. And Minster, Marion, it looks like Marion Local is in the lead, followed by Minster. And that 3, 4, 5, and 6 position, they are battling it out for. 
As we see coming around last 100 meters here, as we have Marion Local once again in first place, about to have a handoff here. And it's a good one, and they're off. They are off and running. <laughs> a big-time lead for the Marion Local Flyers. Boy, they just excel in so many sports. <laughs> They're just so good. So good. Well, and they have so many quality runners, especially for this 4x4. Four four. You know, a lot of teams are happy to have two or three. You know, this lo Marion local team just have four quality runners, and we've seen it all throughout this day. Marion local extending that lead as they come on the back turn here. Last lap of the boys' 4x400 four meter relay. And don't forget to check out our website at WSN.TV for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WSN.TV. And here they come across the finish line. The Marion Local Flyers will win the boys' 4x400-meter relay, and they will win the Minster Invitational. They are followed by Minster in second place. Great follow-up finish there for the Minster Wildcats. And that will do it for our coverage of the boys' 4x400 four meter relay. What a great day here from Minster High School, the 47th Annual Minster Invitational. For Jacob O'Neill, for Josiah Stover, and our entire WSN crew, this is Danny Holbrook saying thank you for watching high school sports on WOSN.